Social media platforms each tend to have a different vibe to them. We have Pinterest with their DIY aesthetics, Tumblr has a certain dark yet quirky feel, and Twitter. Honestly, you know what? I, I don't even really know anymore. But today we're gonna be focusing on Instagram, where many people go to post their best version of their lives, a materialistic platform designed to show only the happy side of life. That's why I haven't posted there in a while. I'm just kidding, my life is great. We're gonna go on Instagram, search up different rooms, and we're gonna be building the first room we see for every room in the house in The Sims 4. We've done this challenge so far on this channel for Pinterest and Tumblr, and I'm intrigued to see the differences that we're gonna get in the builds and how they're gonna turn out. If I had to guess, I would say Instagram is probably gonna turn out a little bit more modern than the other ones, but we'll see. So here we are on Instagram desktop, which by the way, people are sleeping on Instagram for recipes. <laughs> I have so many food accounts I'm following on my Instagram. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and search up house exterior. This is where we're gonna start this challenge. And the first thing we get, look at all those modern houses. I knew it. This is the first one that pops up. This is what we're gonna build for the outside of our house in The Sims 4. So starting out, honestly, our shell isn't gonna be too difficult. It's gonna be a lot of narrow boxes stacked up on top of each other. And we're probably gonna go with the medium wall height all the way through. So I'm just gonna start off easy, just keep stacking those all the way up, changing the wall height. We're gonna go floor by floor. So let's start down at the bottom. I'm gonna delete these walls here, maybe to about there for now, because at the back of the house, it looks like there's actually a room here. So that right there is gonna be the entry area. And I think I'm gonna actually pull this over a little bit. We might have to make this a little bit more narrow and that's gonna create the balcony for the floor on top of that one. So we're just gonna go in with another flooring piece. I'm gonna bring that all the way to the back, although I'm pretty sure there's another room like right here. And then the top floor, the top floor actually looks like it just goes all the way across, like open concept, balcony moment up there. So I'm just gonna use my flooring, bring that across. And I think this is gonna be a very general start here. There are a lot of half walls on this build and walls that like don't attach all the way. Like here, for example, there's just like a little wall piece and another half wall piece right beside it. And modern to me, modern is really difficult because it breaks a lot of rules. <laughs> I don't build in a modern style like this very often, although it is a fun challenge when I do. <laughs> the roofing is going to be kind of interesting because we're going to go in with a shorter half wall. We're just going to put that all the way along the top like that. But then we're also going to go in with platforms and surround that whole thing. So using the platform tool with the grid on so we can just freely go like that. We're gonna follow around just a one tile out rectangle around the top part. I actually don't think it goes over to this side. So it's gonna be an almost complete rectangle. That way we have that little bit of separation right there in between the half wall. There's like a little bit of an overhang here. So I'm gonna go in like that just with the base game fence for now. And I think on top of that, we're gonna go in and get this item here from the Desert Lux kit. I can probably actually just attach that right onto the platform and raise it from there. Actually this way is perfect. I'm just gonna slide that into the platform there. And now we're gonna have that vertical line overhang there. We can go here and add a half wall. It looks like down below there's some half walls too. So I'm just gonna bring those out, connect it all the way here. We are gonna have to put a gate right there. And I might actually extend this part out just a little bit because it looks like there's a tiny bit of overhang with that box part there. And for my columns, I'm kind of debating on using dine out. They're like a thick white column. I'm just gonna put that in like that. And we'll bring the columns all the way up to the third floor too. I'm also just gonna extend this part in the back just to keep it cohesive with the front. And before we go any further, let's get our stairs in here just so we don't have to worry about them. I'm also just gonna raise this up on a foundation just so we've got that out of the way. And now we can start to think about wallpaper, windows, and doors. For that orangey color, I feel like that's gonna be the hardest part to match. So let's start there. I was thinking maybe like this, but that's gonna be way too thick and like log-like. <laughs> maybe that one there. Or there's one from Spa Day we could use. This one here and maybe we could get away with using that color there. It's a little more muted than the one in the picture, I think, but I feel like the other ones are gonna end up looking too bold for the modern look that I'm going for. For some of the walls here, I'm just gonna use a simple white wallpaper. I like to use this one from the Oasis Courtyard kit. And it looks like, is that stone? Honestly, I feel like the closest one we're gonna get is Journey to Batu For a modern build, let's attempt it. We'll leave it for now. And if we hate it, we can come back and change it. I'm also gonna bring out the top of the platform just like that, because it looks like there's a little bit of a hang there too. For that, we can just do a gray base game paint. And for our windows, I was actually thinking about eco lifestyle. We'll just put them right here. And in between there, there's like a weird diagonal like decor piece. I'm not really quite sure how we're gonna do that because I can't picture anything in the game that looks like that. But what we can do for right now is go in with the eco lifestyle horizontal and vertical lines. And we need one of them to be in between this half wall here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a wall. Then using eco lifestyle horizontal lines, I'm gonna go in with these and shrink them. We're gonna do that all along 
wrong just for this part here because it looks like they have some sort of decor piece like that. Then we just have to delete this wall and we're left with that decor piece there. Then there's another piece over here with some vertical lines. And for that, we're going to use city living instead of eco lifestyle just because these are easier. They're not going to attach to the wall and I'm just going to line them up. And we're kind of shoving these into the half wall there so you don't see the bottom part. And for my door, I was actually thinking this one here from Get Famous matches pretty well. So I'm going to put that there. We have a tiny little window right here at the front. And in the back, I'm just going to bring the same ones that I'm using from Eco Lifestyle. These can come along the back here too. And I think I might just put like some regular, maybe bigger windows here, like along the bottom. And I feel like now we can start to add the details. We still need to do some stairs at the front. The landscaping on this build is pretty simple for the most part. But then in the back, it looks like we're surrounded by like tropical trees, like we're in a jungle or something. And the stairs have this weird piece like beside them. So I'm going to use this roof piece. We're going to rotate it and I'm going to shrink it down as much as possible. So it's only a one tile thing. No adjusters hanging out. Maybe we could actually make it a two tile. So we're just going to lower that down. I don't know what that is there, but it just looks like there's something kind of beside the stairs. We'll change the roof paint there to a white and we'll add a trim onto it so it doesn't look so weird. Then we have a spotty window box here in white. So I'm just going to like make this big right there. And all over this build are these hanging plants from Jungle Adventure. These ones here. Do you guys remember if you were around Sims YouTube like a few years ago? The chokehold that these plants, along with like these ones, had on every Sims 4 builder ever. Literally, if you go back and watch some of my builds from back then, probably every single one will have this plant or some variation of that plant. So I'm just going to shrink them down and shove them in. Honestly, I think I overuse this plant because every time I see it now, I'm like not impressed by it anymore. But there's a little bit there. There's also some hanging off this pergola part up here. So again, just shrinking that all the way down and raising it up so it looks like it's hanging off there. We're going to add some glass drawers here from Dine Out. And I think I'm ready to start doing the landscaping, which in the background, the trees that I'm talking about literally look like this from Island Living and combined with like that one from Jungle Adventure, just really big. I'd love to know where this house is, but we are going to go to Sulani. So I'm going to do the landscaping as I'm literally in a snowstorm outside. The temperature is about to get hot in here. Oh. Okay, so after I did all the landscaping, we are now in Sulani, which is the Island Living World. This is what our house turned out like. I also did the balconies so you can see like furniture on there that wasn't in the picture, but there was too much balcony space for me to just leave empty. Plus I tried to go with like the Instagram aesthetic. So we have a whole bunch of workout gear like on these balconies up here. I've got a treadmill. I used a ton of items from the Desert Luxe kit, like these chairs, those end tables. On the second floor, I did the same kind of thing, just using like different workout gear. So we've got like this one here. I added a stereo and some mirrors out here. And down below, I just did a little seating area with like a ton of plants because this place is surrounded by them. So that's what the front is looking like. And then in the back, I went in and added a pool. I felt like we needed it back here. I've got some loungers again, some towels from Island Living. I also put a punching bag over in this corner here. I tried to add more of my own landscaping. I figured to pull it all together with the Sulani aesthetic we're now going for. That was going to be like the best bet. So with that, we are ready to go inside for our Instagram house and I'll show you the layout that I did. So on the top floor, we're going to have a room right here. Not sure what yet. Maybe we'll just do like a skill room or just a hallway, a bathroom and a bedroom right here. This is where it gets a little bit weird because we did have that stairway leading up, but I didn't want it to just be there, like right at the front of the house leading up here. I mean, you could realistically lock the gate for other Sims, I think, but I don't know. It just felt like there needed to be some separation right there. So I added a door. This is going to maybe lead into the kitchen and dining. And then just for an added measure, you could lock this door so you don't have random Sims like coming up to your bedroom unless you want that. And then down here, we're going to do just a living room and a big bathroom right here. I thought it was fitting because the pool is back there. You could come in and shower, get changed or whatever. So that is what we're going to go with. And we're going to start down here with a living room. So let's go ahead and search up living room. How many of you are getting hungry looking at this freaking lasagna? And the first one we get is this one, which could not be more opposite than what I was planning on going for. But we do have more of those freaking hanging plants. They're making a comeback today, I guess. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I did not think we were going to go industrial for some reason, but I've changed the windows on this side to these mosquito ones. I also brought them up to the second floor there and I'm not going to do the black because I feel like that's going to completely ruin the outside of our house. So we're going to come to a compromise and do the white mosquito windows right there. This is going to be kind of hard because we have those stairs in the background, which aren't going to be there, but we can go ahead and get the sectional. You know what? Change in plans. We're going to go up to the second floor here. This is where we're going to do our living room, literally just so I can put the stairs in the background and have them as in the picture. Because without the stairs in the background, it was really changing 
changing the vibe. So we're gonna do a little reconstruction here. So for our wallpaper, we're gonna need a brick to go on the background. It's pretty dark too. I think we could probably get away with that one from Dine Out. The flooring is a dark brown. I think we could maybe do like that. And then for the rest of the wallpaper, I'm gonna go in with this base game wallpaper here. Okay, so I've got my sectional. We need to add pillows and blankets onto here, which I really wish you could make any couch a sectional in The Sims 4, but that is dreaming. So what we're gonna do is take this snowy escape couch and I'm just gonna like stick it back there, try and hide it in the original sectional. And I'm basically just trying to get those pillows to be on top. Actually, that turned out pretty good. If I just like squeeze this over a little bit, that can just be like a ledge to put your coffee on or something. And the legs are barely visible. That's a pretty good hack. We need a lamp over in the corner. It's gonna be one like this. And the rug is kind of like one of these base game ones. Like that one there could do, or even this one could work. For lighting on top is this big like dome light. Maybe because it's so industrial, we could use like one of these Journey to Batu ones. I literally just thought there was a spider on me and it was my own hair. Okay, so we'll try something like that. The coffee table is on wheels, which I know we don't have anything really like that in The Sims, but I'm sure we could find something with that wood on it. So I'm gonna try and use maybe this here from Seasons as my coffee table. It's in a bit of an awkward spot there. On the table, there's a decanter on like a tray. So I'm gonna use this here from Vintage Glamour. I might also put some cups out just to like mimic what's going on. And I see like a notepad on the table. I'm getting like architect vibes from this. So let's do dream home decorator like these color swatches here. Maybe that would make sense. We're gonna need a poof, which I think I'm gonna use this one here from cats and dogs. And over here, we need a table like pushed up against the wall. We're a little short on room. I'm just gonna push everything back a little bit. And for bar stools, I'm actually gonna use these ones here from tiny living. Okay, so so far, this is what we got. This is definitely the most difficult one that I've done just because my spacing is so weird in this house. We're gonna go in again with these hanging ferns. Oh my gosh. We're gonna get that weird shadow effect though. Actually, I wonder if I can find these in debug. And the only reason why I want to find them is because sometimes debug objects don't give off the shadow. Oh my gosh, perfect. Okay, so now we can go in with these debug items and I'm gonna raise them and put them up here. I just had to go outside for like two seconds to let my dogs out and look at the snow on my hat. It's already dried a little bit, but it's really coming down. I kinda like it. It kinda looks like shimmery in here. Looks like my hat has glitter on it. I'm keeping it true Canadian fashion right here. <laughs> on the other side, I'm pretty sure I can see a trunk there. So I'm gonna use this all black one here from werewolves. We're gonna put our TV on top of that. I'm gonna put a rug over there by the door. We could probably put like a plant in this corner. Maybe because we're using a lot of jungle adventure, we can try and put up that tapestry. This is another item that I kind of forgot about that I used to use all the time. And I'm gonna take that wallpaper and put that over here and maybe do like some lights above the TV just so there's something there. Okay, so I think this is what we're gonna leave our living room like. This is definitely the hardest one I've had to do in terms of spacing just because that is obviously a very big living room in the picture, but I do like how it turned out. I really like this dining area over here. So that's what we're gonna leave our living room like and we are ready to move on to the kitchen. Okay, so searching up kitchens, this, which these could not be more opposite than what we've been building here. What is going on on that backsplash there? That's actually really cool. It's like a marble. I don't think I've ever seen a backsplash like that. Okay, so we're gonna need to do a change in flooring. We're also gonna have to do a change in wallpaper. The wallpaper is gonna be my least favorite color to decorate with, which is beige. I think I'm gonna delete these windows right here so that I can do the whole kitchen like back there. And I'm actually excited to do that top like triangle piece. Okay, let's get our counters first. So these counters look very clean. I'm thinking maybe like dream home decorator could work. Like just like these maybe going along the side. So I'm gonna put mine all the way to the end until about here. And then it looks like there's a really tall cabinet like at the end there. Wait, I think that backsplash goes on top of the counters. How the heck are we gonna do this? Okay, we're gonna play around with a couple different counter options here because it's actually really hard to find one of these tall cabinets that don't have like all the dishes on display and everything. So for that reason, I had to go with this base game one. We're gonna have an oven right here, which I think I could get away with the dream home decorator one, like that one right there. We'll do the stove top, maybe like beside that, we can just go like that. My sink I think is over here and where the heck is the fridge in this build? Okay, sink there, maybe we can put our fridge like over here. But that's not gonna work either, is it? Because we have some weird like tables on that side. There's a blue table, which I'm gonna put this one here. That one already has like cookbooks and stuff on it. There's a bowl of lemons. There's a fruit bowl on there. 
there. And then there's another table over here. It's like the most basic table. I'm gonna use this one and just like squeeze everything over. And on there, we have a lamp. We have so much clutter. We can put the dream home decorator like clutter boxes on top of here. The pictures on the wall. I know we have this one here from Cottage Living we could use. And we also need like a couple more in their frames. Okay, so that side of the kitchen, I need to go on the gallery and find some sort of tile that looks like that, that I can put back there. And I need another freaking dining table in here. This kitchen is gonna be the death of me. You know what? We're moving everything downstairs. Our kitchen is gonna be down here. I think it's gonna work out better with what I'm doing, so I'll be right back. <laughs> this is a part of the story where she slowly started losing her mind. So I found this on the gallery. I'm gonna go and download that like a million times, and that's gonna be our backsplash. It was from this user here, Kelly Hart X. So now we have that behind there. That's actually kind of cool. I wish this was like a full wallpaper that would like line up properly, but for what we got, I'm surprised we got that to work. We're gonna put this triangle piece up at the top just to mimic that shape that's going on in this kitchen. It's kind of interesting, actually. I have come to the conclusion that I really don't like this kitchen. If this is your kitchen, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, we've got a table over on this side, a couple of lamps on the table. We have some yellow flowers. All right, this is our kitchen. This is definitely not my style at all, but this is what it looks like in The Sims. I'm happy that we decided to put this downstairs because maybe upstairs since we have that other dining room. Like, look how different they look. Maybe upstairs since we have this dining room table here, that can be more of like a study. So I'm gonna put a laptop on there, just like maybe a couple laptops here. And then on the other side, we could do an office or something instead. But there's the kitchen. Let's do the bathroom just so we get rid of this floor here. Okay, back to Instagram. Let's look up bathroom. Ooh, okay, this is what we get. This is actually really cute. I love that tile in the background. We've got some rocks on there, some candles up here in a picture. We could do this, no problem. Okay, so in here for my flooring, I'm just gonna go for like a white tile, I think. And then we need like a half and half wallpaper here, which is really hard to find in The Sims. Like we could go for that. That might be more so the color scheme. Or there's this one, which is a little bit brighter than what I wanna go for. And I'm actually gonna use this bathtub here from Get Famous because I know that up there, you can actually put things up on the bathtub. So I'm gonna do this plant here from Eco Lifestyle. I need some soap and some rocks. I'm gonna put those ones there from Spa Day with that soap there from Spa Day. And then up top is where we're gonna put our picture. And I feel like that type of picture we'll be able to find in Snowy Escape. Maybe hidden in one of these swatches here. We could use this. It looks like there's like a whale in the picture. So we'll put that right there. That actually looks kind of cute in here. And for the lighting, I need some red candles, which I definitely thought either vampires or a get together would have one, but I'm not seeing a red swatch. Okay, so for our bathroom, this is what I ended up doing on this side. We've got our bathtub over there, our picture, our candles on the wall. We don't have any red like wall candles. So I had to compromise with my wedding stories. We've got our toilet over on this side and I'm just adding some other like similar decor from Snowy Escape. I added an ottoman in the middle here. And I think this is what we're gonna leave our bathroom looking like for this floor. Some curtains on the walls, all the essentials we need and we are ready to go upstairs. This is the most uncohesive house. Let's go up. We're gonna do this final little room over in the second floor. And I think over here, I'm gonna do an office. So let's go back to Instagram and we're gonna search up office. <laughs> what is this? <sighs> is that a cafe? It's a cafe. Did it really have to be the most detailed chair, desk, and bakery I've ever seen in my life? Of course it did. We are definitely not gonna be finding that much detail in any of these Sims tables that we've got or chairs, but we can kind of fake it. Attempt. One. I'm gonna go in with these here from Dine Out, this like fancy flourish sign, and I'm gonna shrink it. And we're gonna put this all along the side of the table. Or maybe instead, because I can't really fit it on there, we could put it on the chair. Attempt two. Okay, so I've made this display here in the background using these counters here, which are from Realm of Magic. They kind of had that black and white detailing on them back there. So I used that. I sized up this massive heart picture from my wedding stories. And on top of that, we're using these shelves from Get to Work. I've got my table there. We're gonna start to put something on these cabinets here. Final attempt. Okay, I rearranged this thing a thousand times. This is what I ended up with though. I added the clutter on the walls, kind of giving that bakery vibe without putting the full-blown bakery in the middle of my house. There was an object from like get to work with the actual bakery thing on it, but it looked really weird in here. So I just kind of went with it and added the shelving in there. Those of you guys that know me know that I will never sit here and talk badly about my builds. This is the one time I will make the exception. I, I hate, hate this, this build. build, but we have to finish it because uh, we've come this far. I just changed that flooring there to the marble and I mean, it's not that bad, but it's like nothing like the picture. Okay, let's go upstairs. We have the 
bedroom upstairs left, a bathroom, and this hallway area, which honestly, I'm kind of scared to look up anything else. Let's do another bathroom. I'm sure it can't get any weirder than what we've got. So the next bathroom we have, there's this one here. It's kind of just showing off the tile though. There's this one. Again, a different style than every other room in the house. This is giving like vintage Victorian. Would have fit really well into the tumbler house that we did, but I feel like this one won't be too hard to replicate. I'm just gonna go and get some black tile. We're gonna need to do some dark lighting. The wallpaper kind of looks like that one there from vampires. I put all these like nice big modern doors in here and I've had to change like pretty much every single one of them. Okay, I'm gonna put this stool over here in the corner. That's where I'm gonna put some candles. I think some of those on there are actually shampoo bottles. So we can try and find something to put on there from like spa day. Then the bathtub, that bathtub looks a lot like I think the cottage living one. Like this one here, I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit. It looks like it might be on a diagonal anyway. So that's gonna work. I had to flip it because that's the only way we're gonna get it to be functional. Maybe this one actually from base game. Then we have some curtains in the background that are like the exact same texture as the wallpaper. What is going on on Instagram? <laughs> so I guess we'll put those right there. And then over here, we need a picture. I'm just gonna use like that one there. And for the most part, that is gonna be it from the picture. This actually looks kind of cool. If we were doing a Victorian house, this would be perfect. On this side, I'm gonna try and match the aesthetic. We can use like this here with like an old looking toilet and we'll just put like toilet paper and stuff over here. This bathroom might be my favorite room in the house and that is saying something. <laughs> Even though the curtains don't have any like window on them, you know what? I'm just gonna stop questioning it. So with this bathroom, we're ready to move on to the bedroom. I think I'm just gonna freehand this hallway here. I'm trying to like somehow combine all the styles that we've combined into this weird house. I don't have a bookshelf anywhere, so I think I'm gonna throw one over here in the corner. Maybe we'll toss an easel over in this little tile here. I would love to open this up to you guys. Usually I have a story like behind my bills. Not today though. So if you guys want to try and write a story for this person that lives here, figure out the kind of sim that they are, I would love to read that. I know sometimes people like to write stories for my build. So if you are one of those people, have at it. Okay, so this is our upstairs hallway area leading up to the bedroom. We've got a bookshelf up here, an easel, something for your sims to do. And we're gonna move on to the bedroom. Honestly, I think we could pull this floor together if it's some sort of cohesive bedroom. Okay, we're looking up bedroom and we get this. Very minimalistic, should be easy to recreate. Boring in my opinion, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, so we're going with the same kind of flooring, but it's going to be in a different swatch. So like that, we're gonna do a basic white trim wallpaper. Our bed can be on part of the wall with nothing on it. And it's just gonna be a white bed. That one there is pretty similar. It's just a simple white rug right there. And it looks like maybe some glass end tables. Maybe we can get away with these ones here from Vintage Glamour. So I'm just gonna put those on each side of the bed and we need a very basic lamp. Maybe these ones here from Vintage Glamour could work. Or actually there's these ones. Let's use those from Get Famous. And then for this thing at the end of the bed, it looks like this kind of ottoman, but I wish that top part was darker. Maybe we could go with one of these. Like we could put that at the end of the bed. That kind of works like that. And then honestly, that's this whole bedroom <laughs> taken care of. There's like a picture on the wall, just like a small white picture. I'm just gonna put that there. I am gonna add some more though. I might do like a dresser over here, keeping with the general, like very basic theme. So we'll put like a dresser over here. This end table here could look cute too. Okay, so we're trying to end this on a high note over here. I'm putting some chairs on this side from Snowy Escape. I put up some vintage glamour mirrors all the way up to the top. On this side, we've got our curtain there. I still have my dresser and we're gonna do a windowsill moment. So I've put some shelves right underneath the window. Maybe just some book clutter, a bookshelf. And this is what our bedroom turned out like. The part of the picture is the most basic part, I would say. So I tried to compensate by adding more clutter on the other sides, not too much, still keeping it a little bit clean in here. The dresser on that side, we've got the windowsill. And this is what our Instagram inspired house turned out like. This house could be like the world's weirdest hotel or something. Maybe that's why the kitchen is downstairs. And then upstairs we have like the bedroom and the living room. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas for who lives here, let me know in the comment section down below. The more I look at it, the more I really do get like hotel vibes. So maybe we could go with that. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.